I know that I will mispronounce someone. So, Deb Tankersley. Applause! Hello all, this is a really fun to be up here. So, um, coolest tool word. So, lots of things here. I'll try to get through it quick because we've got some videos to look at. Um, the work of open source technology as part of the Wikimedia movement is vast, right? It's huge. We all know this. From hosting Wikipedia projects to creating edit checking artificial intelligence to making sharing and cataloging items like data and images and videos, just making it easier. Through the use of open source technology, we can design and build the backend code that powers our Wikimedia projects and makes sharing free knowledge very much possible. And it's always being updated. So as you might know, our Wiki communities across the globe have very diverse technical needs. Um, so community volunteer developers and foundation technologists collaborate to experiment and generate new ideas for local and global solutions. Their work is so key for all of our projects and then in the broader Wikimedia movement. These tools enhance our software by addressing specific use cases while also making it uh, easier to maintain and then curate that contest. And this is where the coolest tool developer uh, award comes into play, right? So we're here to celebrate them. And these are only just a few. So Coolest Tool Award was first created in 2019 and given out in person in Stockholm. Um, today is the only time, the second time now, that we've ever given it out in person. Thanks, COVID. So this year, our categories um, are the ones that you see on the screen here. But our award categories can be different each year. Um, but these are the ones that we did this time. Um, all of our Coolest Tool Awards have short videos that have been created by the Coolest Tool Academy, which we'll recognize in here a little bit. And they're showcasing what makes these tools really, really cool. And we'll show just a few of them here just because, you know, time constraints and such. Um, the full list of winners are already on Meta. Um, so the rest of the world found out before you did, but that's OK. Um, let's dig in. The first one is for the Quality Award. Um, the Web2 Sit is basically an award that, in, um, sorry, the Quality Award is a tool that aims to improve quality content. Um, this particular tool, Web2Sit, complements citation results returned by Cytoid. Basically, where Cytoid stops, Web2Sit begins. Um, we, it, basically, the tool extracts citation metadata from web sources using collaboratively defined configurations, which is a really tongue twister. Um, but it was also called a hidden gem. Let's go ahead and watch a video. Koto. Hello, everybody. My name is Tamsin. Uh, you might know me by my editor name, Dr. Thneed, and I am a Wikidata and Wikipedia editor in Dunedin, in New Zealand, where it is currently spring. And I'm excited to talk to you today about the Web2Sit tool, which is a tool for collaborative citations on Wikipedia. Let me show you how it works. So let's say I want to cite this news article about our Prime Minister on Wikipedia. I would copy the URL, go to Wikipedia and paste that into the Cytoid tool to create my citation. And you'll see that Cytoid is going to suggest something that isn't quite perfect. Um, here is the Cytoid suggestion, and it wants to use the website template for this news article. Now, I would prefer it use the news article template, so I could fix that manually myself for this citation, but then I'll need to fix it for every citation individually from the spin-off or of this article. Um, what the Web2Sit tool allows is for one technically competent editor to fix that for everybody. So you can see below here, the Web2Sit suggestion is using the news article template because one editor has gone in and said, every article on this particular domain is likely to be a news article, please use the news article template. And so Web2Sit will always suggest that now. And if Cytoid wasn't picking up the title or it wasn't picking up the author, you would also be able to tell it where to find that information. And it will fix it for every article from that domain or every Web2Sit user. And that's what I think makes this such a cool tool. The other thing that makes it a cool tool is it has great documentation. So here is the meta page for Web2Sit. Uh, it shows you at the top here 
uh, the code that you can paste into your common JS if you want to be a web 2 sit user and just benefit from these improved citations. But further down, if you want to be one of those people who fixes citations for other people, there are some great resources, including video explainers, recordings of workshops, um, documentation in English and Spanish, because this is a multilingual tool. So thank you very much to the developer, Diego de la Herra, and his team, and congratulations on the award. Pretty cool, huh? All right. Next ad, uh, category, Editor Award. This went to Catalot. And you can see the names up on there. So quite a few of them. And the Editor Award is basically a tool that supports editing. So it's kind of self-explanatory. So it is a gadget, a JavaScript gadget that helps with moving, renaming, I'm sorry, moving, removing, and adding files or subcategories between, from, and to different categories. But it also makes it so much easier and faster than doing it all manually and doesn't want an extra you know, way to do things faster and better. Pretty cool, huh? Our next tool, uh, the Experience Award in Credit LLE. This, uh, the Experience Award is for creating tools that are intuitive and easy to use. Um, this particular tool helps to analyze property coverage of groups of Wikidata items using the Sparkled, uh, Sparkle powered by OnWiki dashboards that update automatically. Some of the quotes of the nominations that came through was a fantastic resource and a launch pad for collaborative efforts. Let's go and watch another video. Hello to everyone at Wikimania. My name is Trisha. I am a technical writer at the Wikimedia Foundation, and I'm very excited to present an award to the integrality tool that was created by user Jean-Frédéric or Jean-Fred. This tool is really cool because it lets you create a dashboard on a wiki page. Here is an example that shows the coverage for properties for Wikidata items that you can group together in custom ways. So this tool uses Sparkle queries, but you configure it through a template, and that makes it really easy for non-Sparkle experts to view and track and improve the coverage of properties for items that they care about on Wikidata. Even cooler, a bot automatically updates the dashboard for you. I looked around at some examples of ways that people are using this tool and found lots of really cool stuff. Here is an example dashboard about Australian beaches from Wikiproject Australia. There is another one I found for Wikiproject Applied Arts where they're using it to track the property coverage for textiles and even one for dams from Wiki Project India. This tool has really nice documentation, both for the technical implementation on Wikitech and for users on Wikidata. And overall, it's very easy to use and is clearly having an impact for many people. So for that reason, felicitations, Jean-Fred, congratulations. And thank you to you and all the contributors for this awesome tool. It's a really cool tool. All right, let's talk about this next one. This is the Tiny Award. Basically, the Tiny Award is given to tools that are just really small things or just simply do something very well. And this year, we picked Wikidata Walkabout. The Wikidata uh, tool is a drill down browser interface that can be used for any installation of Wikibase, including Wikidata. Um, some of the quotes there are, are listed here, that they were listed as awesome. And it's nice that someone finally built something like this. So that's really cool, huh? Our next award carry is called the Newcomer. These are basically given to tools that are new or created by new developers. And this year, we picked Viewit. So Super Hamster, Jamie, and Dominic. <laughs> the
The View It tool enriches wiki content with related images derived from structured data. It makes it easy to find and add relevant media to an article. And it's not just for Wikipedia. It's available on all wikis. Um, currently, as of about yesterday, I believe, when they gave their um, session, uh, it's currently in 25 languages, has well over 5,000 edits on Wikidata, and uh, the tool has been called a very useful tool and also very powerful. And this is just another uh, slide for it. Sorry, I forgot to do this one. So, um, but yeah. The next one, honorable mention to CampWiz, and I've got the um, authors on there. So let's find out more. CampWiz helps our movement. In this case, Wiki loves folklore, which is in this by ma helping to manage the campaigns in real time. Um, some of the people who talked about it said it's basically a powerful toolkit, and it's also a one-stop solution to host feminism and folklore uh, campaigns. So this is something that, again, brand new, um, new tools, and it's something that uh, we thought was really worth an honorable mention. So clap your hands for them. And for the big award, this is part of our logo, the Egg Beater Award, right? So the Egg Beater Award is for a tool that's been in use for many, many years. Um, and for this year, our choice is ISA tool. Sorry. There's a couple different ways to just pronounce it. And this is just a selection of some of the, um, the creators, the developers, and the project managers from like the first iteration and part of the second one. But there's literally like 30 more people that worked on this tool. So it's, it's been fantastic. Um, it was really originally developed as a collaboration between Wiki in Africa, Histropedia, and the Structured Data on Commons project. Um, further development that I haven't listed people here was supported by Wikimedia Sweden, Switch, and the Bern University of Applied Sciences in Switzerland. This is a tool that's used to add structured data to files on Commons in a fun and easy way. With ISA, you can choose a predefined set of images on Commons and then ask contributors to tag those with multilingual structured metadata during edit-thons and other campaigns. So this is a really good thing just to bring up. You're doing a next hackathon, you're doing next edit-a-thon, you're like, let's use this tool. This makes it easier. So round of applause, please. And this is it. So congratulations to all of our coolest tool winners. If we can get some lights possibly, and then everyone who's on the Academy and the winners from this year, if you're here in the audience, please go ahead and stand up and get another round of applause.